Prescott Van Meyer III here, sommelier from home. Today's episode, we are trying mom water or carol. I'm not sure what it is. It's mom water, it's carol, it's cranberry lime. We're gonna try it out. Not my smoothest introduction to an episode, but that's okay. I'm just confused whether carol is the name of this flavor or the company itself. Dalton, what do you think? I'm sorry, what? You don't really care too much, yeah. I can see that in your face. Dalton, what does your mom drink? A White Claw lady. What's her name? Kelly. Yeah, that sounds like a Kelly. Well, we got mom water here. And I'm not sure if it's called Carol because of the holiday cheer, or they didn't want to call it Karen, but they wanted something similar, you know? Or maybe that's the name of the person they think should be drinking this. It says clever, confident, lively. A couple of Carols I know. Certainly all those things. You can see there's some silver sort of holiday cheer type imprints on here. A Christmas tree, what looks like a snowflake. So they certainly are, are getting in line for the holiday season. And the flavor itself is cranberry lime. So I can tell you what it's missing. I don't see any mistletoe on this. I'm sure Carol would appreciate that. I mean, Karen, yeah, she's gonna report you to HR. Whereas Carol, she's gonna make out with you in the supply closet at the office holiday party. <laughs> Push those staplers aside and it's on with Carol. I mean, interestingly enough, Abby's mom was named Carol. Well, I mean, she still is named Carol. She's alive. She hated me when she was sober, but she got very handsy when she had some drinks in her. I remember it didn't seem to bother Abby at all. She would even jokingly say, take him, <laughs> he's yours. I don't give a shit. And then drunkenly take off her ring and throw it at me. You know how the holidays get. People say and do things that they don't mean. Or things you find out years later, they definitely meant it. And the holidays was just the best opportunity to get it out. And now every holiday, you're just alone wondering where your life slipped away from, wondering how many beverages is it gonna take to replace those feelings? And you're not looking for mom water, you need dad water. You need scotch with some scotch. Boy, the holidays really drudges up some memories for me. So they are very clear about this in the bottle. There is zero carbonation, so I'm wondering if you can shake it up and not worry about it. We'll see. <laughs> Why am I doing this? I don't know, I shouldn't have done that. But it says zero carbonation, so I don't think it will explode, shit. Well, they say that this is made for moms. They call it mom water because it has zero sugar, zero carbohydrates, zero artificial flavors, and zero artificial sweeteners. They don't want mom to have anything good. The ingredients on this are water, vodka, natural cranberry lime flavors, and citric acid to keep the freshness. So that is a very limited amount of ingredients. I appreciate them putting it on the can. We're gonna shake it one more time just to prove it's not carbonated. It says no carbonation. All right, here we go, let's open it. <laughs> Those bubbles were of my own invention, I'm sure. Hmm, pleasant but subtle. The lime is not overpowering. Don't really smell too much of the cranberry. Not overpowered and it doesn't smell fake either. Doesn't smell nearly as strong as what my mother drank. So this is 4.5% alcohol, so not a lot. You know, it'll keep you hydrated as you fight through the holiday season, because it is a fight. Internally and externally. Fighting the crowds, fighting your demons, fighting your family. Smells like everyone is expecting you to do the entire meal plan and buy and wrap all the presents and get the house ready for 30 guests. Smells like having to deal with your in-laws, commenting on how tired you look. Maybe I'm tired because I had to get this house ready for all of you idiots, is what you wanna say. But you say, ha ha ha, yeah, I'll get a nap in later. And then you chug your mom water so that you don't punch their throats Unless you're the type of Carol who punches some throats when you have too many of these, then have at it. <laughs> I mean, it's the holidays. I mean, treat yourself. I mean, I knew one of those ladies, one of those throat punchers. It was Phoebe. Mm. Well, again, very mild. They say that it's just water and vodka with some flavor additives. So I'm getting uh, something that's just uh, pleasant coming off of it. Let's give it a sip. Definitely no carbonation whatsoever. A still drink, incredibly mild. At 4.5% alcohol, there's not really that much vodka in here, so you're not really getting a huge flavor of vodka or sort of that rubbing alcohol medicinal type quality. So maybe they're using a, a nice quality vodka with it. Hmm. I do feel like nobody is happy with their gifts again this year, even though I, I literally bought the gifts on their wish list, feel like I've just watched my 15th Vanessa Hutchins movie in a row, where she's a baker who becomes a princess, or she's a princess who gets humiliated and becomes a baker, or she's a murderer. 
Guess it just depends on which channel you're watching her, Disney, Hallmark, or Lifetime. I'd let her kill me. Or bake me something. I love baked goods. Oh, being married to a princess. Ooh. Get access to some nice drinks then, wouldn't I? Back on these regal estates, back to rubbing elbows with actual experts in their field. I'd make her my queen. We'd have some princes and princesses of our own and I'd, I'd let her drink as much mom water as she wanted. Call me, Vanessa. Please, I mean, you, know, you don't have to. I'd like to be in a Lifetime movie. That'd be fun. I mean, I'm the lovable guy who uh, you don't end up with, you know? I'm there to make the lead actor look better. I'm haplessly in the friend zone. It's half for comic relief and half to make the audience feel sorry for someone. And isn't that what the holidays are all about? Feeling grateful that you're not someone who's pathetic and was rejected time and time again. I'd like to feel that one day. <laughs> one day. Santa, are you listening? That's what's on my wish list. That and power locks. I want to be able to shut that car down when I see a threat. Just having to reach over, get the back. Back door is locked, time of crisis. You'll pull your groin. I have to yell, Pizza Mike, close the door quickly. And uh, Pizza Mike is not quick these days. Who would be drinking this? Well, underage cousins who snuck it from the fridge, knowing that no alcohol is gonna show up on their breath after drinking these bad boys. Who else would be drinking this? Well, actual moms who got it as a gift from their husband, because it was very last minute, right next to the checkout counter. So, whoops, let me get something for Nancy. I would pair this with disappointing gifts, like a figurine of a panda. One time you said pandas were cute, and every year you get another little figurine for your collection. Mom loves pandas. She likes collecting panda figurines. She probably doesn't. She was probably being polite. And now you're making her dust a bunch of panda figurines twice a year, which is good because you got her a dust buster on another Christmas. A tool to clean the home. Not really a gift, more of like a necessity for the home or an additional job that you've added to someone's list of responsibilities. Maybe get a vacuum in April. Are things getting better? Are we proactively trying to deconstruct gender roles in the household and make sure that equity is more in alignment with the flourishing of all human lives? Yes. Do we still have a ways to go? Probably. Let's make it more equitable, you know? We got mom water, we got dad water, uncle water, Karen water. Karen water would have zero alcohol because she doesn't need it anymore, all right? She's got enough in her. Let's just keep feeding her water with a little bit of lemon twist in it. Tell her it's alcohol. Hopefully she'll Get out of this. And then there's nano water, which is Everclear. And they already have that. So if you look up Everclear in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of my Nana in there right next to it. It's not true, but we did get her on the Everclear Wikipedia page for an hour. And uh, it was a nice thing to read at her funeral. So on my rating scale, I'm gonna give it uh, basically a 50, just right down the middle. Not a lot of flavor to it. it probably does what you need it to do. Still not sure if it's called mom water or Carol or what, but uh, it's not gonna offend you, unlike your guests in the holiday season. Happy holidays, PV3 Nation. We'll see you on the next episode.